I once said that Konosuba is one of the most popular anime series in recent memories, and I do stand by that. Both seasons, the OVA and the movie, are all phenomenal. Also, the dub is not that bad. It's actually pretty damn good, but, you know, to each their own. But, uh, I have not read the light novels, but if it did produce something of this quality, then I'm gonna be assuming that it's good. Anyways, with a huge surge of popularity that is Konosuba, we obviously got some Weiss sets. We got two and a half, to be exact. We have seasons one and two, and I'm slightly counting Sneaker Bunko because it did add a bunch of cards into the card pool. With the movie actually being released not too long ago, and the movie set actually being released in White Shores pretty soon, the Konosuba train is not stopping anytime soon. As such, we got a reprint set. Konosuba re-edit was released on February 28th, 2020. And I wanted to make a comprehensive video to show off what got reprinted of the set and what got changed. Cause not everything got a reprint. We were given some important cards, but like I said, not everything is there. We're gonna split this up into three different sections. The Sneaker Bunko reprints, the PR card reprints, and new cards plus new art. Sneaker Bunko reprints. Sneaker Bunko was a compilation set that is technically one of the first compilation sets of its kind. The first was Little Busters vs. Decapo, but for a set that combined a bunch of series together, not just two, it was Sneaker Bunko being the first. Followed that was the Key set, which is not out as I'm recording this video, and Fujimi Fantasia Bunko, which is also out, but not out in English as of recording this. Out of all the series that were included in Sneaker Bunko, Konosuba did receive a good amount of cards, and I actually did open four booster boxes. I'll put a link in the top and in the description below. Anyways, any Sneaker Bunko card that got reprinted was given new art that... <laughs> It does not do it for me. I really like the light novel art, like, a lot. They really could have chosen better art to be reprinted, and you'll see the cards when I talk about them. It's kind of like they chose leftover character models, and they're like... Eh, fuck, it's good enough. Anyways, let's see what got reprinted. Bandit Chris is on plate, top check your deck, and add to hand if it is a character or an event. And then you can pay one and give a character plus one soul. It kept its original rarity of an uncommon. Daughter of the Dustiness Family Darkness, who is a split 1k backup, is reprinted. I personally like the light novel art, and I feel like I'm not the only one. It got downgraded from a rare to an uncommon. Real Goddess Eris and Ampli ditch a card and call a level 0 or lower character from your waiting room. It is reprinted into a common from an uncommon. To further heights, Megumin is a climax combo on reverse. With real explosion magic, you can blind stock and then you could salvage. Fun fact, this card was actually a PR that got reprinted into the Sneaker Bunko set, and then it got reprinted into this set. The Sneaker Bunko art is seriously amazing. In Sneaker Bunko, it was a rare, and it got reprinted as a rare in this set as well. Chief Daughter of the Crimson Demon Clan Union gives a character 2k5 when this card attacks. Famous Shop Owner Wiz is a level 2 bomb and an anti-stand card. Also got a rarity downgrade from an uncommon to a common. Rivalry Megumin and Union gains 1k for each other character and has character discard encore and it received a rarity downgrade from an uncommon to a common. Genius Crimson Demon Megumin who is a drop search and a 2 or less stock she gains 1k5 also reprinted as a double rare. The following cards are not reprinted in this set. Pretty much we did not receive any of the Iris cards. One day, just not now. PR cards. Let's Go Home Aqua and Megumin is reprinted as a rare. This stupid sexy card got reprinted as an uncommon. And there goes this video being locked behind an age restriction. Elite Goddess in Charge of Japan Aqua received a reprint and it is a rare and a super rare. Silver Worker Aqua is now a common, along with Trouble Megumin. Union and Megumin is actually PR from the Sneaker Bunko set, and it is now a rare. The following cards are not reprinted in the set, as well as none of the box toppers from the booster boxes. And sorry for the low quality on some of them, that is the best that I can find on the internet. New Art this 0, Zero Kazuma received new art as a super rare. This new art is for the 0, Zero Runner and Climax Ditch Salvage and it is a super rare. These four Climaxes have brand new art. The legendary Foreclosure event now has new art in the super rare. 
So this card is a special case. It is a reprint of a PR card from the Sneaker Bunko set, but it is technically a brand new card. Semantics. Applauding a new skill Aqua gives another character 2k for the turn that she has played and on play ditch a climax and you can send an opponent's character to their memory and at the start of the encore step that character returns. I could not find a high quality of the PR card that this card originally came from but I do have a copy of it right here. Can we get it in camera? You know what? I'm gonna have to cut. It is Haruhi and Aqua and it is really really a beautiful card. Shameful Abuse Darkness was reprinted from a rare to an uncommon and then the super rare got the new art. Many cards did receive rarity downgrades so it's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh! We get multiple variations of the card. Kazuma seems to have gotten hit the hardest out of all of them and this Aqua is now not a double rare anymore. It is a rare. I uh, spent $14 for two of these but hey you win some you lose some. I spent $100 on a playset of these Ares cards and now they're worth a fucking dollar. So this is what anger feels like. We were given two brand new signed cards. That is this Chris and this Eris. So it is nice that we are given new signed cards and not just older ones being reprinted. During the first pressing of these booster boxes, we are getting these first and second cards. And they are pretty pricey. So if you want to get yours, you might as well just get them now. Also, they make really good field centers if you play Yu-Gi-Oh! And yeah, those are all the cards that got reprinted, got something changed, something new added to them. And now the important question is, will this be coming to English Y Schwarz? I want to say maybe, most likely yes, but don't quote me on that. Unless it does come out, quote me on that. We did get Sword Art Online re-edit, and there is a really big market for Konosuba. So, personally, I'm crossing my fingers. I would like to see a reprinting, plus the English market will be receiving cards that are not in the card pool currently. I am, of course, speaking of some of the PRs, but more importantly, the Sneaker Bunko cards. We're not getting all the Sneaker Bunko cards, but do we really need this Aqua? No. No, we don't. And that, my friends, is everything that is of note in the Konosuba re-edit set. What cards are you glad got a reprint? You know which one I'm mad about. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more White Shores news and content. Follow me on Twitter and all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next episode.